If you are enrolled into KDP Select, you may already know that you cannot sell your ebook anywhere else. But the program also encourages us to give away 10% of our book's content for free to our readers so we can hook them. This is a pure marketing technique to ensure we sell more books by showing the readers what the book is all about. To do that, it would be great if you could maintain your ebook into multiple chapter wise documents saved separately so that you can easily make just one chapter of your choice freely available as a downloadable PDF or in any format to your readers or even give it away on your blog, website, social media accounts as an email opt-in and build your email list as well. Unless and until you have those documents separately, what you will need to do is to, you may have to copy and paste the chapters separately and then maintain them. Luckily, there is a great feature in Word to do that. Uh, to quickly automate the separation of chapters into different Word documents altogether. Let us see a demo here. So this is the Word document with some uh, chapter headings and uh, uh, the text. For this technique to work, your ebook must have headings formatted into heading tags, the heading styles. If not, please format them first and then proceed, which is a simple process. Just select the heading that you want to format as heading and choose the suitable heading style you want from this under the styles group in the home tab. And then you will also have the chapter text individually for all these chapters. So once you have all this ready with you, all you need to do is just go to the view menu, click on outline, click on show document. So this tab group expands, the master document group expands to show create and insert. Now what you'll have to do is to, this is an important step, select all your text, the chapter headings and the chapter paragraphs and click on create. Before I do that, let me show you how it looks in my folder. This is the folder where I have stored my ebook, the Word document. So once I create, just observe what happens. I create and then click on save. When I hit save, my in chapters will be individually saved in my folder. There you go. All the chapters split and then saved, exported separately from my original master document. I also have a backup created from my ebook. This is created because I have enabled automatic backup for my uh, ebook. If you haven't done that, maybe you want to watch another video on this, which I created recently, and that's available on the uh, in the video description below. So uh, coming back to this, all my chapters are now exported from my master document into separate individual chapters, as you can see here. Let me now go ahead and then close the outline view. So we are back to the ebook the master document and I'm also going to now simultaneously open the chapter one document to show you something cool. So here is the chapter one document where observe if I edit make any edits here in my chapter one child document and save it you can see that my master document also gets updated and synchronized simultaneously. So that's the best part. It's not that once you export, you need to, and if you have some edits to make, you have to make the edit and then export it again. That's not needed because the edits here, both the files, the parent file and the child file are all linked to each other. Whatever edits are done to the child will get synchronized to the master document. And uh, likewise, whatever edits are done here will be updated to my child document. So let me close the chapter one document, save it. Saving that will also create a backup for me on the chapter one as well because my parent document has the automatic setting enabled. And let me make a change to the master document. Just note that when, uh, when your child document is open, you will not be able to edit the chapter one section because that will be logged for editing. If you want to edit the master document, you will have to ensure your child document is closed. So I have closed that, made some edits here. I will save this and then open my chapter one document. You can see that this is updated to my chapter one child document as well. That's the best part of this technique. That being said, uh, one important word of caution here. You must maintain a backup of your word document always. 
As you know, we tend to forget saving our work sometimes, but automatic backups will always come to the rescue. In case you want to learn how to enable automatic backups of Word document, then as I mentioned before, you can see that video which is given in the description below. I hope you now know how to export your chapters into separate Word documents. This way you can maintain your individual chapters and offer it as a free download or even make separate edits and still have your master document intact and stored all at one place. So that's all about for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.